Hi, today we're going to look at Flamco pressurisation equipment, specifically the Digifiller unit and how easy it is to install. This is how easy it is. So, first thing I've done, I've already drilled the wall because I like things to be easy. We take the unit, we're going to hang it to the wall. That was difficult, wasn't it? Right, screwdriver. Thank you. That's it installed to the wall. Now we need to wire it up. I've already got some wire ready, so I'm going to feed it through the cable gland protector. Lock that in place. I'm then going to wire it up. So now we're wired up. Right, more, more pipe work. Okay, so we've got a cold water supply here and connect it to the cold water in on the unit. So let's tighten that up. Lovely. We already branched into our system with a T plus earlier. So we can connect to the expansion vessel. We can connect to the system. And we can connect to the unit. Make sure everything is as tight as it needs to be. We can turn on the water to the pressurisation unit. The water tank fills to the right level and stops. Now it's good practice to have an isolating valve. It's not however good practice to have one that's got uh, the handle still on because it allows people to accidentally or maliciously isolate the expansion equipment. So the best thing to do is take the handle off. So, put the fuse back in. Turn the power on, right, zero, 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 everything's nice and tight, turn it on. System does it on its self-check, it started itself, it's bled its own pump, so there's no commissioning required of that. And there we are, we're up to pressure straight away. We wanted one bar, we've got one bar. And that's it, system's fully commissioned, job done.